Okay, I'm going to do some more tinkering with the MX series now. MX is, I've already checked out what happens if you disconnect it from the CK, that makes it, it makes them paralyzed and unresponsive, and with the alarm that makes them unable to bend that limb, but let's look at these other three. So first, walk. What happens if I disconnect? MX from walk. Oh, paralyzed. Okay, so next, I'll disconnect it from legs, see what happens. Okay, complete paralysis again. All right. That's kind of boring. Now, let's see what happens if I disconnect the LA. Okay, so he's not completely paralyzed. He's paying attention to me. He's got a decent posture. Get him up. Let's see, it's a bit tough to see. Is he bending both legs? Yep. Does Maybe he he might be dragging his left leg a little bit. It's hard to tell. Well, what does he look like if he lies down? Lies down normally. Alright. Standing up. Now. Okay. So he's having trouble compensating f with his left leg for changes in tilt. Seeing the same kind of asymmetry that I saw with the other ones. But the walking effect is a lot less severe. Hmm. This is interesting.
Whoa! Okay. That took me by surprise. <laughs> Flinging me across the map like that. Uh, let's get him back. Yeah, he is using one of his front legs better than the other one. Alright. Okay, another one, and then I'll take a break for lunch. Just want to see what happens if I do the same thing to a back leg. So, he can bend his legs. And if I get him to stand up and walk. Seems to be having a bit of trouble, maybe? Yeah, it's more obvious when he starts moving quickly. but it's still very subtle. There. Now, let's plunk him here. Stand him up and watch him handle the tilt. Didn't quite get his feet off the ground, but notice how he's one side he spreads his legs out further, and the other side he narrows them in. That is probably why he has a bit more trouble with tilt. Ack! How do I get this thing? things straighter again. Now, just to review, this is what happens when I put the same test to a normal gloop. Oh, crud. I got him to walk. standing but not walking. Plunk him down, maybe up this a bit. And put him to one side. He mostly kind of spreads his legs a bit, but not as dramatically as the ones with leg problems have been. Put him to the other side, he also spreads his legs a bit on this side. And his reaction is symmetrical shows the same reaction if I tilt them to either side. That's what's normal. If they're showing a different reaction when tilted to one side as opposed to another, that's a problem. Alright. And I think I'll wrap this up now. Actually, one more. This 
see. I'm going to just um, have another look at what happens when you disconnect CKs from gate. This is CK front left. And if you get him to stand, as you can see, he drags his left leg. out because he's dangling. Plunk him down. Pull this up a little bit and then if I tilt to this side, see his front legs get closer and closer, which is an abnormal response. That's what happens when I tilt him towards the left. And then when I tilt him towards the right, um, his front legs, he has a wide distance between his front legs, much wider than the distance between his back legs. And that's because his left leg isn't bending to handle the tilt, and his right leg is compensating by going way out to the side. So, you can see the asymmetry here. And it was the same sort of asymmetry that I was seeing with that um, and with that MX one, even though he had the, even though that leg was looking mostly normal when he was walking, he was still showing that asymmetry in balance. So that seems to be a more sensitive test of walking problems than actually wa looking at them walk. Or at least for me, I'm I suck at spotting thing things like you know, problems with walking unless they're really really obvious. Anyway, all right. Now this is actually the last thing for this video. Um, I'm going to show you how Gloop walks if you remove one of his um, limb if you remove his knee joint or elbow, I guess, um, because it's got some similarities, but also some differences to the brain modifications I've been doing. So, some of the similarities first. If I lie him down, he can't bend that leg, so it goes out. But, as you can see, he is bending it in other ways. He's lifting the hoof up, for example. And if I walk, if I get him to walk, he will be taking steps with that leg at a fairly normal rate, but he is not bending the knee. So now let's get him to stand rather than walk. There. And I'll see how this affects him on the tilt table. I didn't actually put one of these on the tilt table before. I made them before, but didn't put them on the tilt table. Oh crud, I got him to walk. Hold stop it. Ugh. So tough to know where the barrier the border is between making him stand straight and making him walk. Put him back there. Alright. Now I tilt him to this side. And tilt him to this side, and even though his knee doesn't bend, he actually shows fairly normal um, balance compensation for uh, balance and compensating for the tilt. But the only thing I can see that's remotely odd is he's kind of bending his ankle a bit too much when I tilt him towards the left side. And that's probably to compensate for not bending his knee. 
Huh. Whoops. He fell over. <laughs> okay. So, one moment. If I go and I Um, what if I made all of the... left limb things fixed? Okay. Spawn that. What happens if he lies down? Okay, that looks strange. I need to see that from the other angle. Oh, his ankle can still bend, but nothing else can. That is a really weird pose. Anyway. Now. Okay. Really badly affects his walking. All that moves is his ankle, and it's really twisting around to try to take a, all that work. And he moves pr really slowly. When he tries to move fast, he gets really unbalanced. Right. Now. Let's see. Get him back to just standing. How do I get him to just standing? Are his knees bent at all? Let's get him there. Need to double check the bend of his knees. Try to get his back legs as straight as possible. So there. All right. All right. Now let's see how that affects us. Okay, now he's acting a bit more like the ones with the brain problems. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more like it affects the entire leg rather than just that one joint. All right. Okay. So. understand a bit more about Grandroid's walking, and I also understand how useful the tilt table is in figuring out what's going on. So, now I'm signing off.